Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Bull Ring presented by Five Star Race Car Bodies. I'm Alan Dietz, of course, American Short Track Sweetheart herself, Jess Ballard, <laughs> the face of Racing America. That's right. I'm honored. Well, that's that's a, a lot of responsibility. Well, it's a good thing. You're the face of Racing America, that's for sure. You know, uh, we've got a really big show today. We take a look here at our pace lap. Ty Majeski is going to join us to talk about how he plans to get to the Rattler this weekend, along with the truck race in Atlanta. Ryan Coon, the defending past champion, will be here as we get ready for the Easter Bunny 150 at Hickory this weekend. Larry Collins from the SRL will join us, as well as DJ Shaw. Of course, he'll be doing double duty at Hickory in act and pass. And Jeremy Doss will be here with us after his big runner-up finish at Five Flags and... He'll be in the Rattler this weekend, too, and you can see it all right here on Racing America. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you saw my tweet over the weekend, but there was mm. too much. Ra- I did see it. There's too much racing going on. Yeah. I didn't have enough monitors. I kind of feel like it's going to be the same this coming weekend. Oh, it's definitely going to be the same this coming weekend. Friday and Saturday will be at Hickory Motor Speedway for Pass and Act. You can order your pay-per-view coverage now. And... Friday through Sunday. Subscribers, that's right, subscribers. You'll be able to see the SRL National Series at South Alabama Speedway for the Rattler. But this past weekend, it was another National Series, the ASA Stars National Series. What do you say we take a look at the highlights? Let's do the highlights. No, you were supposed to ask me. I had it circled. I was ready. Well, we'll try that again next week. (laughs) Here are the highlights for the Sunshine State 200. The ASA name back. And Matt Craig early on was the leader. But his chances for a win ended after contact with Stephen Nassie. That actually ended both their chances for a win. Bubba Pollard, he was at least a lap down. Got back on the lead lap and ended up taking the lead late in the going. But... But the big moment uh, a little bit later as we closed in on the finish, he and Casey Roderick made contact of Pollard Spun. He was not too happy about that. And that wasn't the last time they made contact then. No, it wasn't. But we're not going to get into that because nobody got a good shot of it. So <laughs> Casey Roderick ends up taking the win and $20,000 at the ASA Stars National Debut. But you know what? That wasn't the only race. The Outlaws were also also in action. They were in action Friday or uh, before the ASA Stars race on Saturday afternoon. Cameron Henderson able to take his first win since 2021. And of course, we can't forget about the Cars Tour. Deke McCaskill and Mike Hopkins, the winner this past weekend at Southern National. Uh, you'll be able to, of course, watch Cars Tour Weekly tomorrow. That's Wednesday, uh, Thursday night, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Jess, and this week, Jack McNally is going to be your co-host. I'm so excited because we had Keeley for our premiere episode, but now we got Jack, and I think he's going to bring another awesome perspective to the show as we chit-chat Let's about the season opener. this shit here. <laughs> And, of course, we can't forget about the Cars Tour, and since they have their own show, we will highlight this past weekend's races from Southern National. Talk to winners Deke McCaskill and Mike Hopkins. That'll be Thursday night, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Cars Tour Weekly. Jess, along this week with Jack McNelly, will break down all the action from Southern National. Yeah, that's going to be so fun. It was so fun to have Keeley in the studio last week. Jack is going to be a ton of fun. He's going to bring a totally different perspective. And we'll chit-chat about the season opener at Southern National. Yes, indeed, we will. But before that, we're going to talk to Ty Majeski coming up after this break. Figure out how he's going to run the truck race at Atlanta and then get over to South Alabama Speedway as he looks for his sixth win in the Rattler. He'll tell us about it after this. Five Star Bodies, the most advanced bodies on the market. Aerodynamically engineered, manufactured from the highest grade and lightest weight materials. Tested tough for optimum performance. The highest quality and most durable products you'll find anywhere. 
Our products help racers around the world reach victory lane. Winning never looked so good. Faster, lighter, stronger, better. Five star. Race fans, Hickory Motor Speedway is the place to be. March 17th and 18th. The Pro All-Star Series and American Canadian Tour kick off their seasons with the 18th annual Easter Bunny Weekend of Speed. Two huge nights of racing with over 500 laps of late model action beginning on Friday night, March 17th. The Easter Bunny Weekend of Speed at Hickory Motor Speedway, March 17th and 18th. And you can see it all on Racing America. Welcome to Raceface Digital Collectible Cards. Are you a driver or a team looking to expand your brand? Want to connect with your fans, give sponsors more exposure, and earn income from all card sales? Then Raceface Digital has you covered. Digitize your brand with five different collectible cards. Enrollment is now open to all drivers and all series. Visit racefacedigital.com today and use invite code RA1. Hey, I'm William Byron, and you're watching Racing America. Welcome back to the Bull Ring, presented by Five Star Race Car Bodies. Alan and Jess here with you this afternoon. And did you know I forgot to mention in the first uh, segment, Thursday, 9 a.m. here on RacingAmerica.com, the Kawiki Driver Development Program semi-finalist will be announced. That is a great way to start the workday. And a great segue, too, because now joining us is the 2015 Kawiki Driver Development Champion, Ty Majeski. And Ty, uh, thanks for joining us today. And uh, before we get started, I mean, that, that Kawiki uh, program, at least from my standpoint, is unbelievable. Well, you know, when I look back at my career and you know, I'm fortunate enough to, to make a living doing what I love to do in driving race cars. The turning point in my career that really propelled me to being here was 2015 uh, through that driver development program. It um, definitely pushed me on and off the racetrack to, to be better. And listen, we were in a competition. We were going out, traveling more, trying to uh, win races and um and while while you know keeping allison or alan's legacy alive as we did that so um like i said it, it forced me to be better on and off the track and i feel like that was the year that was truly the turning point in my career and ty you're always one of these guys we love having on the show because you are a short track racing success story we're able to watch you on the weekends and in the upper series but I wanted to ask you about this past weekend at Five Flags, came back to your roots in late model racing. It was the kickoff of the ASA Stars Tour. What was the vibe like down there? Did it feel like a big national tour? Well, it was definitely like a mini snowball derby, um, but with more of a, I guess the snowball derby is just this long, week-long, drawn-out ordeal, right? Whereas this was, pretty much the same drivers, right? It was the same guys who you would expect to compete for the snowball win besides, um, you know, maybe a couple of NASCAR guys that, that run the snowball. Other than that, you had everybody in super late model racing and it was, uh, you know, all packed in a, in a two day show. So we didn't really get a lot of practice. We had, I think, um, maybe an hour and a half or an hour and 45 minutes total. Um, so we really didn't have a lot of time to do anything. So it was uh, really, really important to unload really close, which we, we didn't do. Um, but uh, it was it was a cool event. I thought they did a really nice job for um, really being the first time uh, that a lot of the people were doing their positions. Right. As far as the national tour goes. So um, I thought it was well organized and we stayed on schedule and um i wish the race would have been a little bit um less chaotic but um overall i thought it was a really good start to uh the asa national tour from one national tour to another national tour of course the srl national series at south alabama this weekend you're going for your sixth rattler win but explain to me how you're going to make this work schedule wise between atlanta and the truck race and the rattler hey, yeah 
a lot of moving parts for sure. So um, my this two week journey started in Wisconsin. I drove down to Pensacola, um, ran the Stars race. Last two days, I then drove from Pensacola to Charlotte. I had a simulator on Monday, then a, a Ford Ambassador uh, program this morning. I'm now on my way to Alabama to test the Rattler uh, Wednesday and Thursday. And then from there, I will go back up to Atlanta, uh, qualify the truck Friday afternoon, run the truck race Saturday afternoon. After the truck race, I have a private flight set up to uh, fly back down to South Alabama. It's a 27 minute flight and a 10 minute drive from the airport we're flying into. Uh, so with a little bit of luck, I, I just might be able to make qualifying uh, Saturday afternoon. And then of course the race on Sunday. Um, so, and then after, after the race on Sunday, driving back up to Wisconsin. So, um, a lot of logistics, a lot of driving, but, uh, do what you have to do to race. Well, I know, and I know you'll be tough there at South Alabama as always. Um, no favoritism here or anything, but I do have to say it is nice seeing those four decals back on your number 91. It just didn't quite look right seeing that late model with anything but four decals on it. Yeah, I know. I agree. Um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's been a, it's been a cool experience getting to go through and, and all the, all, all the other manufacturers. Um, it's just interesting because each manufacturer does things differently and they put focus on certain areas. Um, but they all at the end of the day perform at a high level. So, um, but I've always been biased to Ford. Um, they're the ones that really gave me my first shot in 2018 and in 2019 through, uh, through Roush Fenway. Um, so, you know, I'm glad to have the, the Fords back and a lot of the same people are there and it's been a, it's been a good season for us on the truck side and, uh, and a good start down in Pensacola on the late model side as well. Well, I know all the short track fans are really appreciative of this effort that you're putting forth to get from Atlanta to the Rattler this weekend. Good luck in both races, and uh, I'm sure we'll be talking to you again real soon. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks for having me. All right, it's Ty Majeski, and I think a lot of folks were hoping that he was not going to be leaving Atlanta to go to the Rattler because he is yeah. just about unbeatable at South Alabama. Yeah, really I mean, most of the tracks down south. He's he's, tough, he's yeah. always one to beat. Well, another driver that we'll be watching this weekend coming down south, albeit from a different part of the country up in <laughs> New England, Ryan Coon, the defending past super late model champion. He'll be at Hickory this weekend on Friday and Saturday, and he'll join us now. The Hardy's Rattler 250 returns to South Alabama Speedway March 17th through the 19th. See the SRL National Series and the best super late model drivers in the country compete for $25,000 to win. The action all begins on Friday, March 17th for local divisions and then pro late models on Saturday and the 47th annual Hardy's Rattler 250 Sunday. See who'll kiss the rattlesnake only on Racing America. HMS Motorsport is the leader in motorsport safety, providing the most advanced driver safety products to NASCAR, IndyCar, Sprint Cars, and Sports Cars drivers. From grassroots to professional racers, HMS Motorsport has over 25 years experience outfitting drivers with the best gear on the market. Equipped with first-hand product knowledge, our experts are ready to help you select the best harness belt, seats, head restraints, helmets, and racing attire for your type of racing. HMS is even the exclusive importer for Schroed belts, shoe Hubert Helmets, and Valero Base Layers. Visit one of our stores in Mooresville, North Carolina, or Danvers, Massachusetts. Or check us online at hmsmotorsport.com, where you can learn the details of our products and order online. Safety starts here. You know, I feel like every every kid that, that we were racing around, they were all, had the same thing on their mind, right? They were all watching NASCAR. All trying to figure out how to get there and how to uh, to be able to progress through uh, their dirt track to their local oval tracks to asphalt um, and watch that build up. So I think uh, you know for me it was still still Mark Martin and um, was the main one and knowing his history of you know, starting out ASA racing or, or I guess later on ASA racing, uh, 
being focused up in the Midwest, being able to work in the to, to NASCAR side of things. Uh, just so happened to be at, at Ralph Family Racing, so it's a pretty easy tie-in. But um, you know, like that's uh, that's what everybody's trying to get to. But for the most part, trying to get to, you know, we've got a lot of people that uh, are just just having a blast every weekend and uh, been able to, to go back and do a little bit of that. Uh, this year and, and hoping to do some more as we go forward and actually start doing a little bit more dirt racing to uh, uh, you know, Not necessarily my roots, but something that I've done a little bit of in, uh, in the very recent past and uh, really started enjoying so starting to uh, try and work back that way so Welcome back to the Bull Ring, presented by Five Star Race Car Bodies. Alan and Jess are here with you and our pavement pounder this week because I know you love our, I do. our graphics is the defending past super late model champion Ryan Coon. And Ryan will be at Hickory Motor Speedway Friday and Saturday for those twin 150s for the past super late models. Ryan, thanks for joining us today. Absolutely, guys. Thanks for having me. Well, uh, you got the championship last year and pass, which I think uh, is is a tougher and tougher championship to win with the car counts you guys have up there with a the variety of tracks that you run at. Um, now that you've had a little bit of time to reflect on it, uh, just how big was 2022 for you and your team? It was definitely a big year for us. Um, never what we thought going into that season, we would come out champions, but you know, everything, everything went right. The second half of the season, uh, first half wasn't that great, but second half of the season, we really put some races together. And after, I think it was the third or fourth race, we never finished outside the top 10 and consistency was key at that rate. Yeah. It sounds like consistency is, is key for series championships. So being the reigning champion, do you feel like on the track, you're like, in defense or do you like do you have a target on your back or do you just go in with you know momentum and like a weight off your shoulders i feel like we got some momentum uh really you know i, I really don't feel like i have a target on my back um you know everyone in the past series has been really good to me and i feel like i've been really good to them racing hard racing clean and uh felt like i gained a lot of respect from uh fellow racers and hopefully they feel the same about me but you know, I'm, we're going to go do our same old thing and hopefully try to go out and win that thing. Well, tell me about how you approach Hickory this weekend. Um, Friday's race, more or less a night race. Saturday's race, if everything goes the way it did last year, will be at afternoon race. Does that make a difference? And uh, just what kind of racetrack is Hickory Motor Speedway now? Yeah, it's definitely a rough racetrack, but... um. You know, the day from the night, um, you know, it might make a little bit of a difference. You know, obviously cold tires going to turn one that first time is going to be slippery. But um, during the daytime, the track's going to be hot, slick. But unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get any really warm weather there. So I, we probably won't have to worry about that. Um, yeah, you boys should I, feel right at home. Yeah, yeah, no <laughs> kidding. Um, no, I feel good about it. You know, I think... Uh, I think we'll see some good two groove racing side by side, lots of side by side racing and guys trying different lines, trying that top side, especially in the daytime. I think, uh, track, track can really rubber up during the daytime and, um, hopefully we'll see some double wide, maybe three wide racing throughout the whole weekend. You mentioned that last year, the first half of the season, you guys were kind of off to a rough start and then you had a really strong second half. Is there a date or a race on the schedule that's like circled? Like we have got to be in a good spot by here or else a championship's not in the picture. Um, not really. Um, the way I think of it is, you know, everyone will have their bad nights, uh, throughout the season. You know, some, some drivers may get really lucky and, um, really never have a DNF, but usually most drivers will have one, two bad nights just either miss the setup have a tire problem or just get caught up in someone else's mess but um you know it really comes down to consistency and just continuously finishing really good and working hard at it and basically just never give up 
I don't think there's a, a lot of series that that start out as strong as past does. When you leave Hickory, you go to Thompson for the icebreaker on that uh, big 5-8 smile racetrack. Then you go to the mile at New Hampshire for the Northeast Classic and then back to Oxford. Uh, all those races on Racing America, by the <laughs> way. But that is uh, those are some really diverse racetracks. Yeah, it's definitely going to be hard to figure out. Um, you already know who your good guys are going to be at uh, Thompson and Loudoun. Um, you'll see Eddie Mack run really good there. DJ runs really good there. Johnny Clark runs really good, both those racetracks. Um, but you'll have some comers and goers, I think. You know, at Oxford, you'll have the weekly guys, and it seems like all the weekly guys are really, really competitive. And um, I really think at Oxford, you'll see about 15, 20 cars that are honestly able to win the race starting the day. Yeah, we can't wait to watch. Uh, we've enjoyed uh, the past races over the uh years here on racing american especially the easter bunny 150 be safe in your travels we'll see you at hickory and uh, look forward to a great race awesome guys thanks for having me see you guys this weekend all right that's ryan coon another quickie driver development driver and again uh -huh. semi-finalist will be announced 9 a.m thursday morning on racingamerica.com we come back we're going to talk to larry collins of the srl and get his thoughts as the SRL National Series heads to the Rattler this weekend at South Alabama. Five Star Bodies, the most advanced bodies on the market. Aerodynamically engineered, manufactured from the highest grade and lightest weight materials. Tested tough for optimum performance. The highest quality and most durable products you'll find anywhere. Our products help racers around the world reach victory lane. Winning never looked so good. Faster, lighter, stronger, better. Five star. Oh my God. You can watch it all only on Racing America. SRI Performance and Stock Car Steel are your all-inclusive motorsports warehouses with more than 450 product lines. They have everything to put you in victory lane, from professional racing to street performance. SRI and Stock Car Steel have you covered with leading brands as well as a large selection of steel, aluminum, and plastics. With locations in North Carolina and Indiana, access has never been easier. SRI has the world's largest inventory of used parts. SRI Performance in Stock Car Steel and Aluminum, your one-stop shop for everything racing. I'm Ty Majeski, and you're watching Racing America. Glad to have you back with us here on the Bull Ring this afternoon. And we thank our friends with Five Star Race Car Bodies. Uh, of course, a lot of the folks that we cover run Five Star Race Car Bodies, and they've been great supporters of ours over the years. Of course, they'll be supporting a lot of the racers this weekend at South Alabama Speedway for the Rattler. Joining us now from the SRL National Series is Larry Collins and Larry, uh, great to have you on the show. I know this is the first time you've been on the show here with us. How excited are you guys uh, about heading to the Rattler this weekend? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a big history buff for our sport, so to be part of an event that's been going on for 47 years, it's, it's fantastic. Um, I hear great things about the Dice family, so uh, looking forward to getting back there, working with them. But, um, yeah, what a, great, what a great weekend it's shaping up to be. And I know we're sponsored by Five Star for this show, but I hope, now the guys have to do any business with them on Monday. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you, um, I think the first time I ever went to the Rattler was, uh, two years ago. And unfortunately with scheduling this year, I'm not going to be able to make it because of the past race at Hickory. You are going to love that racetrack. I mean, it is, it is just a great racetrack. And, uh, I think the racing is going to blow you guys away. Yeah, you know, it's kind of fun seeing some of the posts from a lot of the drivers that are coming, maybe for their first time, and they're all saying they've been looking forward to 
coming to this event and you know a lot of them it'll be their first time there it'll be my first time there but all the drivers that have been there in the past are looking forward to being back there so obviously that says something about the facility the people that run the show there and um i'm sure the race fans are great race fans too so we're looking forward to it larry i haven't been there either but i would love to know your thoughts on the snake in victory lane and will you be <laughs> hanging out with him or her I think I'm gonna be called to the press box about the time that we're presenting that trophy and that snake's gonna end up in the winner's circle. So uh, God bless the, dr the driver that wins and has to deal with that. Um, if it's Ty Majeski, he seems to be pretty adapted to it. But uh, yeah, I would, um, I, I don't know. I, I, yeah, I won't be within 100 feet of that winner's circle come uh, come when that snake shows up. Well, last year I had to get a picture with the snake and they were like, all right, we'll do it for you. But that's it because it's cold, he's tired, he's cranky, and okay. it's probably not best that we have any more pictures with him. So, uh, I was waiting for you to say, and he's hungry. No, nah, no. Nah, <laughs> and uh, luckily, the two uh, the two guys that were there handling him had all their fingers and everything, too. So uh, he's a pretty nice snake, I think. It's better if they're, if they're cold, Alan. That means they move slower, so it gives us a little bit of advantage to get the hell out of the way. Yeah, that must be what's wrong with me. It's just cold it's here. Cold all the time. Slower. Um, so I got to ask you, we go from no national tours to now two new national tours with the, the ASA stars last weekend taking center stage. You guys taking center stage this weekend. Um, how do you guys coexist? Um, we're doing our best and we've been talking about this for over a year now and um, now that we have two series they're doing this basically the same thing you know Alan, i take the approach that if we all do a good job with super late mall racing and our across america the sport's going to grow and we're all going to be better right so um you know if they do if they do well on their side i'll celebrate that because it just means more people want to you know, build super late malls and come racing um that's the way i'm gonna that's the approach i'm going to take um you know, they, of course, you know, there's, we're pretty close on the rules, which is important. You know, it's important that we get them just right on, um, around the same page, which I'm willing to work on with them. So, uh, so far, you know, I mean, they had a good car count last week. We're going to have a good car count this week. Um, I'm just all about, if you wake up every morning, make the sport better, more people are going to be drawn to it. Um, if there's more super late models in America, we're all going to do better. So, you know, I got races out here in California. I got races in Florida, um, up in Michigan, Missouri this year. So, um, if there's more cars in the inventory, we're all going to do better. So, um, you know, we just show up there. We show up to work every day, trying to make the sport better. We show up to every race weekend, making the best we can for the race teams, the racetrack, the race fans, the sponsors involved, um, work with the media the best we can. So, you know, we only know one way to do it and um, that's the way we're going to do it and uh you know they had a good start as far as the car count goes you know it was a big event for them so uh so yeah just moving forward you know i don't think we're stepping on each other too much you know we have 88 races this year um west of the rockies so that's not a big footprint that might grow in the future but um you know i think we can coexist well, we are going to see you again on Racing America at Mobile. That'll be on April the 1st. And also for the season finale at Citrus County on September 30th. As you mentioned, you guys have got a couple of races at Berlin Raceway and I-44 Speedway, both great racetracks. Uh, Larry, I really appreciate you joining us today. You guys uh, always do thing right, things right, whether it was Mason Marin, whether it's Kern County, whether it's the SRL Southwest Tour, and now the SRL National Series. Uh, we appreciate being a part of it, and I uh, can't wait to watch this weekend. Well, thank you. Um, I appreciate all that you do, all that you and Jess do with this show. Anyone that's in the sport at this level, I greatly appreciate because um, we're all in it together. If we're all, you know, share that passion, you know, things will get better. So um, it's a, uh, to me, it's a great sport to be part of. I know you guys enjoy it, so... Um, we look forward to what's happened this weekend and the rest of the year. So uh, thank you so much for having me on the show. Yes, sir. Thank you. Well, when we come back, we're going to talk to a guy who will be doing double duty this weekend at Hickory Motor Speedway, DJ Shaw, former past champion and now the defending act champion. He'll be with us after this.
That's gotta be the wildest ride in the world. Perna Siglio. Perna Siglio. There you go. That was the coolest thing I think I've ever seen. You're a race car driver, <laughs> without a doubt. Five Star Bodies, the most advanced bodies on the market. Aerodynamically engineered, manufactured from the highest grade and lightest weight materials. Tested tough for optimum performance. The highest quality and most durable products you'll find anywhere. Our products help racers around the world reach victory lane. Winning never looked so good. Faster, lighter, stronger, better. Five Star. SRI Performance and Stock Car Steel are your all-inclusive motorsports warehouses with more than 450 product lines. They have everything to put you in victory lane, from professional racing to street performance. SRI and Stock Car Steel have you covered with leading brands as well as a large selection of steel, aluminum, and plastics. With locations in North Carolina and Indiana, access has never been easier. SRI has the world's largest inventory of used parts. SRI Performance in Stock Car Steel and Aluminum, your one-stop shops for everything racing. Race fans, Hickory Motor Speedway is the place to be. March 17th and 18th, the Pro All-Star Series and American Canadian Tour kick off their seasons with the 18th annual Easter Bunny Weekend of Speed. Two huge nights of racing with over 500 laps of late model action beginning on Friday night, March 17th. The Easter Bunny Weekend of Speed at Hickory Motor Speedway, March 17th and 18th. And you can see it all on Racing America. Welcome to the new home for race fans, Racing America. Live short track racing. Exclusive team content. <laughs> Any NASCAR fan is really a short track fan at heart. Behind the scenes access. From grassroots to NASCAR, join us at the home for race fans everywhere. Racing America, it's in our DNA. Welcome back to the Bull Ring, presented by Five Star Race Car Bodies. Alan and Jess here with you, and we hope that you can be with us this weekend here on RacingAmerica.tv for pay-per-view coverage. Friday and Saturday from Hickory Motor Speedway, St. Patrick's Day on Friday, 150 laps for the past super late models, 125 laps for the act late models. Then we do it all again, but call it the Easter Bunny on Saturday. And a guy that you're going to be seeing, hopefully in all four of those races, is DJ Shaw. He's joining us now. And uh, DJ, I know after a, a long off season, uh, having four races to run this weekend couldn't be better yeah definitely uh ready to scratch the itch and get back behind the wheel here and uh hopefully we have a good good outing and uh good weather and and everything uh works its way on the positive side to get the year started you always uh run well at hickory you've won the easter bunny before maybe not always had the results that you wanted because of the way things shook out at the end um does hickory race like a lot of tracks up in new england i mean at least size wise it seems comparable to a lot of the racetracks you guys race on up there yeah i think it's it's definitely the most similar track in the south where it's just you know old and abrasive and rough you know there's not a lot of rough places in the south with without the harsh winters that we have up here so it's definitely one of the places i think that uh the northern guys are are more on an even playing field and you know especially with the past deal it's so many of our regulars going down there and and act it's all the regulars obviously but um you know it definitely feels more like home than than most of the southern tracks i've been to previously four races is just kind of crazy mm -hmm. and i mean it's a great way to knock off the rust like you said but d is it difficult to like stay in the zone you know switching between the series and is there a dip like do you have to get into a different frame of mind how do you navigate that running all those laps in one weekend yeah we've we've been fortunate to to do it here for the last few years and uh you know i just have a couple great teams and uh you know they keep it 
they keep both ships righted and uh, make it easy. I just jump back and forth. And, you know, this week, especially, we'll have only one support division in between. So there's no real time to think about it. You just do it and uh, hopefully it goes as smooth as it looks. <laughs> well, for you as a driver, um, you know, I've I've been able to see enough act in past races now to see uh, you know, there's some race procedures that are different with restarts and different things like that. But from the driver's seat, how different are the two cars? It's not too bad. Uh, you know, I've it's the act cars are kind of you hustle the car more, and you know everything's a little bit <coughs> slower. But you know, all in all, they're pretty comparable. So, um, you know, that part of it's not too bad, and. You know, there, there's some procedural things different, and, you know, I struggle with the act restarts. The the pass restarts are unique, but it's the way I've learned and always done it. So, you know, the biggest difference for me is is the restarts and, and things like that that are just a little bit different that are just, you know, it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks, and I guess I'm an old dog now because I can't, can't seem to figure out the act ones, but, um, you know, we'll keep trying, I guess. Well, I remember when you and I were not both old dogs. We were young <laughs> pups, and uh, I definitely am not now. You don't look a lot different than you did 10 years ago. But, um, you know, you you talk about the past restarts. And, you know, through this job and just being a general race fan, you get to see a lot of different ways that different racetracks and different series do it. I don't know about you, but it seems like the past – the past way is is pretty good i like it it's it's my preferred way but it's you know it's the way i've i was brought up to so uh, i'm a little biased i guess but i think you know we go on the flag man rather than the than a starting box or anything like that and i think it just it makes the front row even and and fair and you know i kind of i like it it's it's unpredictable but you also don't have the ability to jackrabbit and, and do those things that tear up cars unnecessarily. Like, you know, you'll often see in a restart zone or something like that, even at the cup level. Yeah. Well, and another thing, well, one thing that is predictable about those restarts is if you jump one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't want to do that. No, you don't want to do that. Well, DJ, uh, we really look forward to seeing you guys down there this weekend. Can't wait to watch the past super late models and the act late models. Uh, be safe in your travels, and uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me on. All right. That's DJ Shaw, and I think, Jess, he will be a contender mm -hmm. in both races, both days. Because we, we know how good he is in past, and we saw how good he was in act last year. So. When we come back, we're going to talk to our final guest of the day. It's an action field show. Yeah, it really is. It really is. <laughs> Jess is sweating trying I to I am. Up. Uh, we're going to talk to Jeremy Doss coming off a runner-up finish this past weekend at Five Flags. As he prepares for his first taste of the rat. Five Star Bodies, the most advanced bodies on the market, aerodynamically engineered, manufactured from the highest grade and lightest weight materials, tested tough for optimum performance, the highest quality and most durable products you'll find anywhere. Our products help racers around the world reach victory lane. Winning never looked so good. Faster, lighter, stronger, better. Five Star. Welcome to Raceface Digital Collectible Cards. Are you a driver or a team looking to expand your brand? Want to connect with your fans, give sponsors more exposure, and earn income from all card sales? Then Raceface Digital has you covered. Digitize your brand with five different collectible cards. Enrollment is now open to all drivers and all series. Visit racefacedigital.com today and use invite code RA1. HMS Motorsport is the leader in motorsport safety, providing the most advanced driver safety products to NASCAR, IndyCar, Sprint Cars, and Sports Cars drivers. From grassroots to professional racers, HMS Motorsport has over 25 years experience outfitting drivers with the best gear on the market. Equipped with first-hand product knowledge, our experts are ready to help you select the best harness belts, seats, 
head restraints, helmets, and racing attire for your type of racing. HMS is even the exclusive importer for Schrode belts, Schubert helmets, and Valero base layers. Visit one of our stores in Mooresville, North Carolina, or Danvers, Massachusetts. Or check us online at HMSmotorsport.com, where you can learn the details of our products and order online. Safety starts here. The Hardy's Rattler 250 returns to South Alabama Speedway March 17th through the 19th. See the SRL National Series and the best super late model drivers in the country compete for $25,000 to win. The action all begins on Friday, March 17th for local divisions and then pro late models on Saturday and the 47th annual Hardy's Rattler 250 Sunday. See who'll kiss the rattlesnake only on Racing America. Welcome back to the Bull Ring. We talked about Jeremy Doss, our next guest, coming off that second place finish at Five Flags. And there he is. And he's our lucky dog. And I'm going to tell you why he's our lucky dog. Okay. Jess. Because if you've seen that number 44 at Five Flags, between Bob Lyons and Jeremy Doss, they have had terrible luck. And Jeremy, luck finally went your way this weekend. Yeah, that's very true. And I, I feel the same. I feel like we've always had uh, fast cars there, but luck was never on our side. And this weekend, it finally paid off. We had a fast car and was able to run second. Yeah, well, congratulations. And I wasn't down at Five Flags. I was watching from home. So I'd love to know how you felt about the event being the very first event of this ASA national tour. Did it feel like a big national tour from the driver's perspective? Yeah, honestly, it did. Um, like the competition, I was just as strong as the Snowball Derby, in my opinion. I feel like all the hitters were there. And like I said, to go go run second at Five Flags against that competition uh, means a lot for our team. And uh, we're looking forward to the rest of the year. Speaking of the rest of the year, this weekend, you'll be at South Alabama Speedway for the Rattler. Now, are you guys taking the same car you had at Five Flags or what's the status of the car this weekend? Uh, no, we're actually bringing up another car. Uh, Bob Lyon, my car owner, he flew back down to grab that car. And the car we just ran at Five Flags, we brought back to Hampty. And we're actually in the process of prepping it right now for the next Blizzard races. So we were, we've were we talked about the rattlesnake several times on the show. Yeah, Jess would like to eat one. No, Alan was telling me that his people will fry them up and eat them. My people. Well, you said uh, people down here. Well, some people down here. <laughs> Anyways, should you find yourself in victory lane, what are your thoughts on, on taking a picture? eating a rattlesnake. No. Or eating it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know about eating it, but I think it'd be a, worth the picture. It, it would be pretty awesome to find ourselves in victory lane with the rattlesnake for our first time there. Well, it is definitely worth the picture, let me assure you. Um, this the SRL National Series. You've raced a ton uh with that group out west the srl southwest who are their pro late models um what do you think they bring uh maybe that's a little bit different than some of the other things that we've seen or, or is it you know fairly you know straight straight down the line i feel like it's very similar um i feel like the srl's top-notch guys and they're they're very professional in how they run things uh in my opinion, I think it's great for the sport to have two national series. Uh, it's just providing us racers for more races and big money, which is racing awesome. In your opinion, you know, coming from California and, and, and when we've talked about national series, you know, the question's always been, how can you get these East guys to go to California? And how, how can you get these, these West guys to come back East? Take the winner's purse out of the equation what do you have to have in your opinion to make a national series work that way and, and get all the drivers together i mean part of it obviously is purse i think if you're having big paydays that draws drivers in but for me i, I want to run against the best of the best uh, the toughest competition to prove myself and uh i feel like that's what both series has so we'll be continuing to run with both of them uh, what's the plan for you the rest of the season? 
Um, we're going to focus mostly on all the Blizzard races. That's uh, the one track I feel like I want to get better at and be able to contend for the win in the Snowball Derby. Um, we have the Rattler, um, a couple more SRL Nationals uh, series races. Then we're going to run the All-American 400, Winchester 400. So just some crown jewels that I've never done, and I'm excited to experience. Well, we're excited to hear that, too, because that means we're going to see a lot of you on Racing America. <laughs> so uh, congratulations on that strong run at Five Flags. Good luck this weekend. I think you're going to love South Alabama. And uh, if you get that rattlesnake, we'll have you back on next week. Perfect. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Have All a good right. one. Thank you. That's Jeremy Doss joining us now. And, you know, we talked about it a little bit earlier, but just like Ty Majeski, Jeremy Doss is a former Quickie Driver Development Champion. Thursday, 9 a.m., RacingAmerica.com. The 15 semifinalists are going to be announced. And then, of course, what, a month or so after that, we're going to get to, to bring you all seven of the new finalists for 2023. I can't believe it's already time to do this again. And that was just so exciting being part of that last year. So I am looking forward to it. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be great. And uh, their job gets harder and harder every oh, year yeah. trying to figure out who to pick. Well, uh, we've talked a lot about it here this afternoon, but when we come back, we're going to preview this busy weekend of short track racing action, which you can see all right here on Racing America. Welcome to the new home for race fans, Racing America. Live short track racing. Exclusive team content. <laughs> Any NASCAR fan is really a short track fan at heart. Behind the scenes access. From grassroots to NASCAR, join us at the home for race fans everywhere. Racing America, it's in our DNA. SRI Performance and Stock Car Steel are your all-inclusive motorsports warehouses with more than 450 product lines. They have everything to put you in victory lane, from professional racing to street performance. SRI and Stock Car Steel have you covered with leading brands as well as a large selection of steel, aluminum, and plastics. With locations in North Carolina and Indiana, access has never been easier. SRI has the world's largest inventory of used parts. SRI Performance in Stock Car Steel and Aluminum, your one-stop shops for everything racing. Race fans, Hickory Motor Speedway is the place to be. March 17th and 18th, the Pro All-Star Series and American Canadian Tour kick off their seasons with the 18th annual Easter Bunny Weekend of Speed. Two huge nights of racing with over 500 laps of late model action beginning on Friday night, March 17th. The Easter Bunny Weekend of Speed at Hickory Motor Speedway, March 17th and 18th. And you can see it all on Racing America. Ready to take your brand to the next level? At Victory Lane Design, we can help. If you are looking for a professional website, cutting edge logo, a hero card that separates you from the pack, or video production to keep you connected with your fans, then check out VictoryLaneDesign.com, where winning counts. Well, we've talked to all the guests, Jess. Of course, the big races this weekend here on Racing America, and we don't waste any time as we go around the corner and we'll preview this weekend's racing action Friday and Saturday. Order your pay-per-view coverage now as the past super late models and act late models will be at Hickory Motor Speedway here in North Carolina. Twin 150s for past, twin 125s for act, plus the mighty mini stock series that act has started this year. And, you know, this I think is the 18th annual Easter Bunny 150. Wow. It's just crazy where... You know, this race started out in 2006, and we get to here now. We've talked a lot about the, the SRL and the, the Stars National Series. Well, Pass has had a National Series now for seven or eight years, and they've gone about it a little bit differently in that they've tried to keep all the races, you know, on the East Coast. Now we're seeing a couple of series that are going to try to do it a little bit farther out. But uh, 
I think 25 act late models right now entered 24 past super late models entered. And it's always a great show there at Hickory. Anytime we go. Yeah. With all the divisions having great car counts and twin races. I mean, that is a jam packed race weekend. Yep. And that'll be Friday and Saturday here on racing America here, uh, as well will be great racing action from South Alabama Speedway. The SRL national series hits the track. Once again, they'll take center stage Friday through Sunday. And those are available for subscribers, local racing on Friday night, uh, the baby rattler for the pro late models on Saturday. And then Sunday afternoon, the big 250 lap rattler. And, you know, you look at that entry list, the race pays $25,000 to win. It's never paid this much before. Um, a lot of guys were able to make the trip from California and, and kind of double it up in Pensacola this past weekend mm -hmm. and then go to South Alabama this weekend, 35 cars on that entry list. And it is an all-star entry list, just like what we saw at Pensacola. I mean, 35 cars is huge. Even for one of these big races, again, it's one of those races that has a fun trophy. I'm always, I always look forward to seeing who's going to make it to victory lane and if they're going to be scared of that rattlesnake. Well, I had that rattlesnake curling up around my leg last year. What? I thought it was Bill Roth, but uh, I ended up <laughs> figuring out it wasn't. Th thankfully, it wasn't Bill, and it was just a rattlesnake. Yeah, true. <laughs> but yeah, I mean that's gonna that's been a great event for the last several years, and, and it'll I, be really exciting racing the whole weekend. And I hate not being there. Uh, uh, I'll be at Hickory, of course, Aaron Maynard to be there as well. Uh, for the act action and at South Alabama, we'll have Ryan McCullough and Rodney Rodriguez. So I know they'll do a great job and oh, yeah. I look forward to hearing that and wish I could be in two places at once. I know. <laughs> I've actually never made it to the Rattler in person, but yeah, it's on my list. It is really a, a great racetrack. John Dykes and his entire family, they do a, a great job with South Alabama Speedway and I wish it was a little bit closer. Yeah. It's a pretty good drive from here in Charlotte, but uh, man, do they put on some great races, and we're glad to be heading back there this weekend for the Rattler. So again, past super late models, act late models, the Easter Bunnies, uh, you can get that on pay-per-view here on Racing America, and subscribers, you'll also be able to watch the Rattler here on Racing America. That gets you caught up on where we'll be this weekend. Take our final break, and we'll wrap it up after this. Racing returns to the legendary Thompson Speedway Motorsports Park, April 1st and 2nd, the 49th running of The Icebreaker. See past Super Lake Bottles hit the track on Saturday the 1st. Then on Sunday, it's one of the area's oldest modified traditions, The Icebreaker paying $10,000 to win for the ground pounding modified. It's the 49th annual icebreaker at Thompson Speedway Motorsports Park. And you can watch it all only on Racing America. HMS Motorsport is the leader in motorsport safety, providing the most advanced driver safety products to NASCAR, IndyCar, Sprint Cars, and Sports Cars drivers. From grassroots to professional racers, HMS Motorsport has over 25 years experience outfitting drivers with the best gear on the market. Equipped with first-hand product knowledge, our experts are ready to help you select the best harness belts, seats, head restraints, helmets, and racing attire for your type of racing. HMS is even the exclusive importer for Schrode belts, shoe helmets and Valero base layers. Visit one of our stores in Mooresville, North Carolina or Danvers, Massachusetts or check us online at hmsmotorsport.com where you can learn the details of our products and order online. Safety starts here. Hey, I'm Ricky Stenhouse Jr., your 2023 Daytona 500 champion and you're watching Racing America.
Well, the white flag is out on another episode of the Bull Ring. We want to what? I just love these the little, little titles. Sl- little slogans. Well, uh, we want that to thank- was all Alan. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, we want to thank all of our guests today for joining us: Tom Majeski, Ryan Coon, Larry Collins, as well as uh, who else was uh, DJ Shaw and Jeremy Doss were with us. It's been a long show. Yeah, just had to make sure about that. Uh, again, don't forget lots of things coming up tomorrow, Thursday evening, 6 30 PM Eastern time. You can catch cars tour weekly. And that will be a course with Jess Ballard followed by, um, dirty air with Rodney Rodriguez here on racing America, uh, Friday and Saturday racing America pay-per-view at Hickory motor speedway past super late models and act late models, Easter money, one fifty. 125s for the act cars that's going to be a lot of fun and friday through sunday subscribers you'll be able to watch the rattler at south alabama speedway be sure to check out the srl national series there and if you miss any of it and you want to catch even more free on connected devices be sure to check out our racing america channel yep yeah, thank you <laughs> uh, you hit you hit all the uh, you added a lot there jess <laughs> Well, for Jess, I'm Alan Deet saying so long from here at Charlotte. We hope to see you at the races this weekend. If not, we'll be right back here on Racing America. Race fans, Hickory Motor Speedway is the place to be March 17th and 18th. The Pro All-Star Series and American Canadian Tour kick off their seasons with the 18th annual Easter Bunny Weekend of Speed. Two huge nights of racing with over 500 laps of late model action beginning on Friday night, March 17th. The Easter Bunny Weekend of Speed at Hickory Motor Speedway, March 17th and 18th. And you can see it all on Racing America. Five Star Bodies, the most advanced bodies on the market aerodynamically engineered, manufactured from the highest grade and lightest weight materials, tested tough for optimum performance, the highest quality and most durable products you'll find anywhere. Our products help racers around the world reach victory lane. Winning never looked so good. Faster, lighter, stronger, better. Five star. believe it right now racing in my opinion is as healthy as it's been in the last 15 to 20 years just wanted to make that first lap and go. <laughs> the hardy's rattler 250 returns to south alabama speedway march 17th through the 19th See the SRL National Series and the best super late model drivers in the country compete for $25,000 to win. The action all begins on Friday, March 17th for local divisions and then pro late models on Saturday and the 47th annual Hardy's Rattler 250 Sunday. See who kiss a rattlesnake only on Racing America.